What's going on guys? It's Alex Except No Tech. How you doing? I have this gaming phone here. Uh, last game mode, it's ready to go. I'm gonna do a gaming test here. So I'm gonna play a bunch of games that I've downloaded uh, just to see how it works, just to see how it goes. Spoiler alert, I do know how it works. I took this on a trip to Japan. So uh, 10 hour rides back and forth. I got to play a lot of games on here. I got to use the buttons on here, the, the two trigger buttons here. And you know what? I am very excited to review this phone. It's going to come sooner rather than later, the review video, because I have a, I, I already know how I feel about this phone. So uh, let's jump into this. We're going to turn on the game mode. See the boot logo going on, the red magic boot logo. And then the light should be running and also the fan is on. Um, the fan noise is actually kind of funny. It's kind of funny that it's a little louder than you would think it would be. But um, yeah, there's there's a fan, so it's supposed to keep the phone cool. From my experience with this phone, even without the fan on, without this game mode on, it hasn't been um, hasn't been too hot even without the fan on. So you know, I've played for hours at a time, and the phone has not been too hot. So that's a good thing. All right, let's play. This game here, this is Asphalt. I haven't logged on for a couple of days now, but uh, let's just play a ride. So uh, what we can do here is I already have the buttons mapped since this is a game I've played. So if you swipe onto the left, I already showed this in the hands-on video, but uh, this is where your dock information is. And I have the buttons set up here. Well, actually, yeah, it's okay. I, I can show you guys where the buttons are. So you see I have the nitrous and also, I forgot what, I think that was the drift button. Yeah, the drift button was there. So uh, let's exit out of that. So if I hold to drift, you can see I'm, oh, I'm spinning out, but you see I can drift just by holding that. That would be the same as if I press the button here. So I actually prefer using the buttons when I can. And in this game, it's actually perfect because there's only two buttons that you need that you can program it. Unlike some MMOs where there's dozens of buttons that you have to program or you know have the space to program. So if I press this, there you see I am accelerating with the nitrous and then I can also drift. So awesome stuff. This game is perfect for this form factor because there are only two programmable buttons that you need. So there you go, that uh, runs it really well. The Snapdragon 855 with this particular GPU for the Snapdragon 855 works really well with the highest end games, like graphically intensive games I have not had any issues with. I haven't seen any problems with. And the Snapdragon 855 processor in general, not just this phone has uh, performed really well in terms of gaming. So uh, I'm very impressed with what it does here. So, um, that's asphalt for you. Let's actually swipe out of here and press back or press game space. This will take us to our game space where I'll show you uh, whatever games you have added onto here. So I do have a handful of games. Next, we're gonna play this game. This is Dawn of Isle. It's kind of like a, I guess you can say like a old style Zelda game or MMO MOBA style game with traditional RPG elements. Uh, so, as to be expected in a game like this, there are a lot of skills, a lot of hack and slash buttons that you might need that will occupy the space here. So I do have a few programmable buttons uh, on here. So let's take a look at where I have it mapped out here. So once again, let's press the touch buttons. So I have the R button right here on this fan and the L button right there on that other skill. So once again, I have the two buttons programmed, one to attack, so the R buttons to attack. Ooh. Kind of hard playing uh, and talking and not really paying attention at all. And then I have the other button set as like this heal spell. You see the cooldown uh, cool happen because I clicked on it. So we can confirm that it does work. Uh, I do like this layout, but at the same time, once you start getting more skills, and this happens to a lot of these mobile games or MMORPGs, um, once you start getting more skills, you have to choose. You have to pick which ones you want to use it at. Uh, usually attack button and your main skill that you use, like your your most OP skill that you got, uh, are the my, my choices, of course, but 
um, you know, there are different scenarios you can do. One thing that's also kind of cool is like, you know, text when characters are talking and you want to skip through it, you can actually press this button and it, it, it registers as a tap uh, to go through the story. So you don't have to actually physically tap down here as well. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it works out pretty good. So King's Raid is a very popular game. I just picked it up not too long ago, but uh, I do enjoy this game. Uh, the graphics and the story seems really nice. It's really fun to play. It's one of those gotcha games, though, so uh, you do have to spend a lot of time to farm and to, I guess, if you want, you can whale. But uh, it's a fun game, and these two buttons here, they aren't as useful for this particular game as they would be for the previous couple games that we've talked about. Get this going, and then I'll show you guys once again where I map the buttons. You see the L and the R. I map the buttons right there for these two sk skills. This is my healer character. So uh, these two particular skills are more useful. Um, the left button I have programmed for this first skill, which is a heal skill. So heal my team. And then the second one, I put it on this skill, which is a shield skill, which is supposed to add, it's supposed to add a buff. This is an RPG, of course, so healing and buffing are important. And so, um, you know, everything else, I let it run on auto. And then when I need to heal the characters, I quickly just tap here. And it does the, does the job. It's pretty easy. Um, that was a rather quick battle. Let's go to another one. And once again, this game runs pretty well, just like the other ones. I haven't seen any frame drops. This game is rather decent in graphics. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of characters doing a lot of different things, especially on, on quick speeds. Uh, and this is how only I can find. I have not seen any frame drops. So once again, that's a testament to the 855. All right, let's move on to Mortal Kombat, my favorite fighting game franchise. These mobile games are actually not too bad. This Injustice, uh, all of these NetherRealm mobile games aren't too bad. And uh, this is actually pretty good for what it can do with these particular programmable buttons. Also, uh, before we start, I want to say these haptic feedback buttons are terrific. Just tapping on it and feeling that vibration is, man, it, it's good stuff there, really. Uh, this game requires you to swipe, though, so you can't just fully rely on tapping. Uh, you, do, you don't move the characters back and forth like you do on the console version of the games. Uh, but really, you just can program these two buttons to do all the uh, tapping attacks. I'll show you guys where I programmed it right here. So left and right, literally you press left, literally you press on the screen either side to punch and kick, and then you swipe to do certain attacks. So um, it's really simple. All you have to do is press these two buttons to program them in the direction that they want you to. And uh, you can basically just rely on these for the most part to do all the attacks like that. So there you go, pretty simple. These two buttons work pretty nicely for uh, attack buttons. You just have to relatively swipe here and there. No directional button that you need. So you really have a majority of the screen just to focus on the action and enjoy the immersion that you need for a full screen game. We're gonna play this game now. This is Otto's Odyssey. Uh, so this is the sequel. I've actually never played this one until now. Um, I really like the first one, the snowboarding one. So playing in the desert, how different can it be? Uh, but let's take a look at this because you don't think programming a button here would really help a lot. But as you can see, I just have a left and a right button here. And this game like Mortal Kombat, there's no particular button that you need to press. You just click anywhere on the screen to jump. So both my left and right buttons do the same thing. They both just jump. Um, so that's pretty cool. Like I said in another in another one of those games, um, the ability to hold the phone and have it kind of rest on your palms on the side and just click on the buttons on the top here will help with fatigue You know, for holding it in long term. Whereas if you have to hold it like this, you see my grip has to change and I have to lower my thumbs to press the button. I know it seems like a trivial thing, but uh, if you've gamed on a phone for a long period of time, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. It actually, it actually helps a lot in your ability to game for a long period of time. All right, let's quickly map the buttons here. I have not, I have not played PUBG yet on this phone. Uh, I know what I want to do. I want to use this for the right button to shoot, and then I'm going to use this button here to, oh, yep, to shoot. And then I'm going to use this button here to jump. 
and then I can always squat and stuff elsewhere. So this will be my shoot button. This will be my jump button. And then I can control the cameras like that. Okay, cool. That works pretty well. All right, cool. We got a gun. Got some ammo. Nice. Knocked him out. Build them there right away. So yeah, you, as you saw there, I was just using the uh, trigger button on the top to shoot. I guess I, oh man, I am really, really bad right now. I guess I am playing a team. Yeah, I'm playing a team game. Oh crap. I thought I was uh, doing solo, but that just goes to show I don't pay attention to my settings. But right now you can see, oh, It's actually pretty helpful to have that button shoot. So you can just use this thumb just to aim. I know some people like shooting like that at the same time, but uh, I do like having that individual button to pull the trigger. So there's this 40 shock mode, and uh, it only works for a handful of games. The PUBG actually happens to be one of those games that this works with. So when you do like a, like when you fire a weapon, the phone vibrates. So that's pretty cool. It's like when you're using a controller, like a PS4 controller, and you have that sh um, vibrating ability, it adds to the immersiveness of this particular game. Oh, I guess I <laughs> got another kill there. Okay, the last game we're going to play is Pokemon Go. So Pokemon Go, oh, before we get into this, look at that. Picture in picture. I have a YouTube video running. It's a YouTube video that I have picture in picture active. Uh, and this is all thanks to this game space stuff. I have not had a phone where I was able to do this playing a game. So this is the first phone that I've ever used that can do that. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like this is the first. Wow, why are there so many flying mo- I, I have not seen this video yet, so why are there so many Motrises? That's, uh, is that Motris Park? Crazy. Anyway, Pokemon Go. I was going to say, this is the first um, phone that I've ever had with the 90 hertz refresh rate. And it's hard to explain. It's hard to illustrate that here in this particular game uh footage that i'm showing you guys it has to be something that you touch and you feel and then you switch back to a regular 60 hertz phone that you'll really notice it so i uh switched back to my galaxy s10e after using this for a couple of weeks and man i have to tell you the first thing i noticed was playing this game just the the, the smoothness I, it, I i can't even explain it this is something that i ha i was trying to figure out how i can best explain why it's so unique and so nice feeling you can use the word smooth but that doesn't really fully describe what's going on here there's the motion the fluidity of what you're doing on screen and what's happening on screen it's just almost instant it, it is it is absolutely terrific and once you switch back to a 60 hertz phone and you play a game like pokemon go where look i'm, I'm spinning a, a ball that's when you notice the biggest difference there because even though the S10e also has A55 and the game runs really well on the S10e, it, it still feels a little different. It feels weird compared to what I can do here, honestly. Uh, and once again, this is something that you can't really see on screen. It looks like I'm just playing the game and it'll probably look the same on the S10e, but when you actually have your finger on the screen and you're actually touching it, that's when you notice it. That's when you feel... The difference there and so uh i highly recommend if you have never tried a 90 hertz phone uh or anything higher go to best buy try out the razor 2 or the razor 1 that has 120 hertz refresh rate so it's a little higher than this but you can definitely notice a difference compared to 60 hertz um it's hard to show it it's hard to explain it but once you've done it and gone back to 60 hertz you'll notice a difference so in pokemon go this game really helped me show uh, what this 90 hertz screen is capable of and what I missed about it when I moved away back to a 60 hertz phone. So I'm really excited for future phones to have a 90 hertz screen or better because this refresh rate is just, it, it's terrific feeling. I really do like it. This phone has really impressed me. It really has. And the full review is going to showcase a lot of my thoughts on this. Now, I haven't even talked about the battery life. The battery life on this thing is epic. So once again, I'm Alex of Sitmo Tech and I'll talk to you guys very soon. And that's it. Be sure to subscribe here. Hit the bell button so you don't miss any of our videos. And check out our other videos right here. 
Until next time, 